What's going on YouTube? I'm up to my neck in differential fluid in Greece. I'm going to show you all what's going on, why I was having the issues with the billet Baja in the drivetrain, what caused it, cheap ass parts. I'm going to show you all how we're going to rectify it, the parts we're going to use to fix it. We're also going to go over some 1-8 scale nitro goodies, so hang tight. We'll be back in a sec. Peace. Pretty dangerous, I can tell you that. Here in the street. what's going on so as you can see we're doing a complete rebuild of the rear clip of the uh, Baja and I'm gonna tell y'all what's been happening clutch total racing everything is good but we got the here whole rear off here uh, we're gonna get everything cleaned up um, but I'm gonna show y'all what happened and why you should not use certain roving pieces so this is the front rear bulkhead and I apologize I'm still dealing with some allergies but this piece goes right chia it's hard to get in there because that's loose but you you get the picture it goes here right and your hinge pins um, I can't get it under there because it's on. But your hinge pins go through these holes, right? And this side right here is supposed to be uh, solid. These holes aren't supposed to be here. They're supposed to be on the back side because they slow it, slide in and hide. But they're supposed to stop. The problem with this cheap Chinese robe and stuff is it's no good, man. It popped the holes right through. So essentially what happened is um, my hinge pins slid all the way through, right? And when it slid all the way through, here's the uh, lathe shaft, right? Which is somewhere around here. So what happened is it was binding on the lathe shaft, causing all kinds of havoc, man. And I did not notice it. I noticed it had moved a little bit on the last one, though. It moved a lot and uh, pretty much this is the these are the RC max titanium uh, pins and look at the damage that it did there okay ah, crap piece of junk anyway um, <laughs> we're gonna get it all fixed up though guys we're gonna we're gonna do this right and we're gonna use the right parts uh, we've got the RC Max bulkheads coming. Uh, we've also got the uh, RC... Sorry about that, GoPro. Y'all know that when my bonehead carbon fiber ones broke, I just put this one on, and even it is cracking right there. But this thing was binding so bad. So I've, I've got that, but we're not going to use it. We've got the RC Max bulkheads coming front and rear, and then we also have the RC Max hinge pin set coming. The, the billet hinge pin holders these things right there so we're gonna swap them all out i gotta do the front i'm gonna pull these i might just leave the carbon fiber ones on the front because it's not hurting nothing it's just these rear ones where it has all the torque we're gonna look at our black bone gears they all look pretty good we're gonna replace all these bearings um basically 
it, it caused havoc on everything, man. It caused all the none of the bearings were good in there. Th this was what's left of the bearings that were in this differential right here. I got them all out. I was able to save the IRC diff cups. We're going to use those. They're fine. It was a bitch getting all these bearing pieces out, the bearing races that were stuck in there, but we got them out. But th these these are part of my my diff gears, my planetaries. Look, man. They're freaking, they were all broke, man. Broken half. Steel everywhere. We're not even going to use these. We're going to rate, re, we're going to replace them. These were the Kraken uh, planetary gears. So, everything else is good, but I'm taking this opportunity to pull everything apart, clean it, uh, polish it up, replace bearings. We're going to polish up this uh, turtle racing uh, diff housing, get it all cleaned up. It's still very good. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. We're going to continue to use it. It's it's this IRC diff was made to go with this turtle racing uh, housing. So and I want to show you what else these and this is not FLM's fault. This is the binding issue. It literally was binding on the lathe shaft. I'm going to use this lathe shaft again. I think it's fine. It just rubbed it right there a bit. I don't know. It may have weakened the integrity, but we're going to go ahead and use it anyway. This is the uh, Kraken lathe shaft on here. Um, but look at this dog bone, man. Look at how bent it is. That's freaking nuts. Look, see where this side is and where this side? Look at that. Look at the angle. It totally twisted that, man. So I've got another set here, a uh, brand new set. We're going to use the Fat Dad pins in it. Um, I've got the. I've got another set of uh, hinge pins, the, the four, set of four, the two lowers and uppers for the rear, the RC Max. And... Uh, we went ahead and ordered the Galante limiter straps as well. So I'm hoping that once we get the RC Max uh, bulkheads, that this is not going to be an issue. They just popped off. It was paper thin, and they pushed through. So no bueno, people. No good. Um, let's look at these, these gears real quick. And then this is going to segue into probably some nitro. I'm actually, uh, I replaced that front drive shaft, the one that snapped in half on the 8XT. And um, we're going to go ahead and run the, the modified Works B5 in here. Right there, it's an RCR modified. It's brand new. It's only been broken in and run maybe once. Uh, we're going to clean up this Hypex uh, pipe 2135 with 41001 header on it that's what we're going to run on there um but anyway i gotta i gotta order these these planetaries and and this is all due to that cheap ass crap ass roving part man if you're gonna do this people don't don't skimp out i'm finding that my budget build is not so budget because when you use budget parts they the integrity of them sucks and it's not worth it in the end Yes, it's a pig, it's a billet, it's heavy, but, I mean, it is what it is. If you don't have everything tight and right the way it's supposed to be, buttery smooth, you're going to have issues, man. So, hopefully this is going to fix it. It's given me an opportunity to go through. Uh, we probably will go ahead and use the, the washers this time. These are the brass inserts for the IRC diff. We may do a bearing on the outside and the, the washers on the inside, brand new seals. Uh, we're going to redo this. Uh, we're going to go with the 500K again. Um, but anyway, that's, I mean, look at that. That's all bearings, man. That's crazy. All the pins broke everything. There was definitely an issue. So here is the uh, ring gear, the idler gear on the inside. It looks really nice still. This is black bone gears. And you know that we're using the um, uh, Fast Eddy grease. So it's doing its job nice. No issues with these gears. Same thing with, with the, uh, uh, the lathe shaft gear here. It's still good to go. And we're going to replace all these bearings with the Avid bearings here. Um, and that's really about it, people. That's what I wanted to show you all. So, complete rebuild of the rear clip. Got some parts coming. Again, we're going to use the Galantes. 
Uh, we're going to get all this cleaned up. I didn't even clean it. I just pulled it apart. Since we're in here, we may go ahead and, and pull the... Uh, we're running the FS clutch with the UFC 10,000 spring in there. And the black bone uh, clutch bell. So we'll probably pull this apart and see how well that's holding up. And replace if needed. Uh, I did have to replace this uh, piece that goes right here. I forget what it's called. Um, it, it goes here. You know, it's the piece that goes here that connects to the... Uh, uh, the brake assembly, the one piece turtle racing brake assembly. It's kind of like um, this piece right here, but the turtle racing piece, that's a brand new one right there, but I'm not going to use that. We're going to use what came with it, the turtle racing item. We had to order it as well. Yep, we still need to get a new GoPro. So it just wreaked havoc on everything. Actually, the. Uh, these are the, I think they're the Kraken Titanium or the Kraken uh, pins. This one's bent as well. So, But we ordered the whole set for the RC Max ones. And this will be replaced with the RC Max uh, hinge pin holders. So, Alright guys, that's going to be about it. I love the RC Max uh, billet. It's a lot better than the Roven stuff. If you're going to put this kind of money into something go with the right parts man that that's all i can say but got it figured out fix the issue and we'll get back to running in the meantime look for some nitro <laughs> people part two of this video haven't got my parts in they should be coming all this week but y'all know what we're doing we're going to go over a little bit more of this this is the billet baja rear clip that we've torn apart we've cleaned everything up and we're rebuilding it including the diff uh differential this is the uh irc diff cup beautiful diff cup i highly recommend this uh but we need to mix and match bearings and uh, the brass inserts. I'll show you all that in a minute. Uh, we'll go over that in a second. This is going to be my next Nitro Rip. This is the 8XT. Uh, let me show you all what we're going to be running in it. And what I did to... When I bash and when I jump, I, I hit pretty hard sometimes. And I'm always ripping these rear wings off. Like the time I skid upside down in Dallas in the parking lot there. So I'm going to show you what I did here. Also going to show you what I did to uh, fix the wheelie bar issue. I kept losing the parts on the rear of the wheelie bar, but we got that figured out. I love this Jado. It's badass. It's powerful as hell. It's fun as hell, man. You can make a Traxxas what you want, man.
right there bam i've also got some other stuff in the works on the way special goodies i'm going to show you all when it gets here and uh i, I have no idea what it is it's kind of a uh surprise surprise even to me so we'll unbox it together and we'll go over that so let's take a look at this real quick um what we're running here obviously it's the works b5 rcr modded let's take a look there she is man she's beautiful this is the 8xt this is not my favorite truggy you know my favorite truggy right there the nt 48.3 uh, probably in a month or so, we'll be picking up a new Truggy. So, probably a couple of 1.8 scale platforms as well. And then we're going to get started here. I had to go through my training process and get acclimated, acclimated in my new spot there in my career. And then we're going to start on the uh, Drag Baja that I am going to build. I am going to build that. I'm going to show you all the FS clutch with the UFC spring, how it's holding up. We'll check all that out here in a second. But this is going to be my next rip. This is, the, again, the, the RCR Modified Works B5. It's just barely broke in. Uh running the vs roddy hypex 2135 and the 41001 header beautiful combination this thing's going to scream that's for sure obviously we're running the os p3 plugs what i run in all my point 21s right there so basically what i did on this guys is we we ran it through like we normally would put screws on the end extra long and then I actually put some more nuts and the cap head screws to secure this so it won't pull through anymore. So the problem is they always pull through right here. So anyway, this is going to be my next rip right here for Nitro that will be coming up pretty soon. I think this, this is going to be a lot more durable here like this. Uh, again, Sumo Racing skid plates, highly recommended right there. So let's check out the um, damn GoPro, man. That's what I need to do is get me a new GoPro. So anyway, look, the girl stands up on her own. So we're gonna be be battling this next. Uh, woogie, woogie, woogie ramps and all that. Need to get a new uh, wing for her as well. So let's go over. Let, let's look at the UFC clutch first, and uh, we'll um, go from there. So let's check it out. Get my light. My light meaning my phone. Let's take a look. All right. There it is. It's kind of dark over here. That's what I'm showing you. So everything looks good. I actually roughed it up a little bit uh, with some steel wool because these are the uh, steel shoes. There, There's no um, material on them. So the spring looks good. A little dirty. I hit it with a little carb cleaner to clean everything out. But seems to be holding up just fine. So we're going to leave that in. And I don't know if this 9500, I think I said 10,000 the other day, but it's a 9500 UFC spring. You know, I don't know if that was causing some of the issue as well. But uh, got all this cleaned up. We're getting ready for those RC Max parts. And we'll show those when we get get them in. Um, well, let's take a look at this other stuff real quick. Yep, definitely need a new GoPro. So we cleaned up the, this is the Black Bone Bell. Cleaned it up really well. Everything looked good. Just had a lot of, uh, you know, debris and stuff in it that we needed to clean up. A little slag, but we did a good job on that. Um, man, these parts, they take a thrashing, man. This was completely black on the inside. We cleaned it as well. Cleaned up the bearings and um, shot a little uh, uh, AMS oil, air tool oil in on the bearings. If you don't have one of these, I suggest you get one. Uh, I've had this for a long time. I just keep refilling it. It's got the needle where you can actually get into the uh, bearing itself. Uh, sometimes you can even you can just pop this out with an exacto knife or something and get in there and clean it and then re-oil it so all new bearings here on the black bone gears i showed you these they all look really good so we're going to get all that back together 
uh, the cups. I cleaned them up as best I could, made sure there was no bearing parts. Y'all saw all those pieces of those bearings, man. They just exploded, all of them, all four of them, two here and two here. That's why I'm going to use these uh, uh, brass inserts now, and that way we don't have any issues with bearing failure because um, it, it is a bitch getting in and out of these diffs. I mean, it's easier with the three-piece because you can just pop the rear piece off and fix it. But if you have to remove the whole transmission, it is it is a process, man. But, you know, we're, we're figuring it out. And this thing right here still blows my mind, man. The way this thing is... Look how it's turned, man. It's freaking nuts, man. That's a lot of torque. And then these parts right here, crap. We'll just hold on to these for spare, but this is no good anymore. It'll just keep coming out unless you put some, uh, you know, get the, like the Roven hinge pins with the groove and the Eclipse on them. Got all this cleaned up. She's good to go. Don't forget to always oil your, your, your wheel. It's got bearings in it, but that's ready to go. We got all this. I'm going to pull this apart as well. And uh, I've already oiled up the bearings and cleaned all this, but I want to pull the shocks apart and uh, just redo those since I've got everything apart already. This girl's ready to go as well. I don't run this as much as I'd like to because I tell you, man, I have more fun with the Baja, man. It's it's just, it's funner, man. When you're bashing, it's funner. This is cool, fast, powerful, but I mean, that's it. I put it off the woogie ramps and all that, but that that it tears it up man it's too heavy to be sending 20 feet in the air but anyway we'll probably do it again soon still fun though but just not gonna run it as much as as i run the baja but i'm getting more and more back into the nitro man I'm, i love nitro we're never gonna get out of it and there's gonna be more to come for sure um what else i think uh i think that's about it man we got everything else cleaned up brand new bearings got all these parts cleaned up these pins were still good you know there's a little residual fast eddy grease in there and that's what we will use the fast eddy get all this back together and then we'll go over the parts when they get here for uh the rc max hinge pin holders and all that they look really nice man i can't wait to check those out as well as the front and rear uh, rear bulkheads got all this cleaned up shined up got my brake uh, brake pads and, and all that done cleaned up uh, and roughed up my my RCR brake disc oiled these bearings here in the uh, uh, you know for the brakes right there for the cam this is the RC max uh, titanium cam brake cam and then the, uh, I don't know if this is RC Max or just a billet uh, brake hex here. This is the billet one from uh, Detroit Performance. And we will be using the 5mm. These are brand new outdrive cups. Uh, Super Duty from FLM. We're going to go ahead and continue to use those. Uh, because I, I'm not sure if it is a product or if it was just the fact that that hinge pin was rubbing on the lathe shaft right here was causing a huge binding issue i mean obviously it just destroyed a lot of stuff this 34 small bore modded esp is not enough power to do the damage that you guys saw on this that's not enough power to to damage something like that man like that one right there that's insane and then to blow out all four bearings something was binding i mean y'all saw when i would roll it though it was rolling fine but i think as it was running this was moving forward i don't even know where it went the other one i think i threw it away uh but it was moving forward and the damage that it caused and the binding that it caused you know everything has to to roll smooth so that's my goal in this and the rebuild is to make sure everything is done correctly so that's going to be about it, guys. Once we get the parts in, we'll go over all that stuff. We'll we'll do a Woogie-style rebuild on this. A um, few things I want to do in the front. We're going to be... We're probably actually going to be swapping out these shocks for the... Uh, uh, what are the... The IRC shocks? Or I... I I don't know. You know which ones I'm talking about. The ones over at uh, Detroit Performance uh, or DDM. But the um, I think they're IRC shocks. Uh, we'll probably end up getting a set of those. They're just the shafts on these uh, 
Roven or whatever the hell they are. These are 10 millimeter shafts. They're, they're really thick. They're big. They're good for the rear. And I don't think those IRC shocks are that. I think they're maybe like an 8 or something like that. These are monsters, man. But definitely we'll be doing something with the front ones here. Uh, the IRC for the front as well. I, the only problem that I see, man, and y'all could probably tell me this, is it's really tight in here, man, with these, these Roven arms. You know, and, and I know these springs on the IRC front shocks are going to be thicker and bigger, but tell me if I'm wrong. I'm just hoping that, that it, they'll fit in here, but I definitely want to upgrade those as well because these, these are just like bottom of the barrel, man. But, you know, the, the front is not that big of a deal. And I'm still loving these these uh, uh, turnbuckles here. These are bad to the bone, the Fonzies. I love these things, man. They're beastly and have had no problems. Everything else on here, I, I've really had no problem with. All the turtle racing, the, the V2 uh, servo saver, all that stuff has been really well. This thing turns on a dime, and you know that Bajas are are known for not being able to turn very well, but that's an upgrade you, you really got to make. Let's look inside this piston if we can see. I don't know. Let me get my light, man. Let's see if we can see in there. And then I'll get out of here. Let you guys go. Let's see. There we go. Uh, it's hard to see. There we go. Looks good though. Yep, looks good. Alright, people. So, just kind of a different video here. Uh, no running in this. Maybe I'll put a few clips from the other day. But I'm excited to go ahead and run this TLR 8XT with the B5 and the Hypex 2135. Alright, people. Should have some parts here in a couple of days and some other goodies to go over with y'all. Until then, have a good week. I appreciate y'all. New Year's coming up. Everybody be safe. We'll see y'all then. Peace. Oh, son. <laughs>